So if you're currently dual booting Windows and Linux, or if you have multiple distros installed on your system, you should definitely consider checking out a boot manager such as Refind. With Refind, each time you turn on your computer you'll be greeted with this screen, where you can easily select whichever operating system you want to boot into. While Refind certainly isn't necessary, I found it to be extremely convenient and it saves time since you don't need to go into the BIOS each time you want to boot from a different operating system. It's also useful to have when booting from a USB flash drive or any external media. So with that said, let's now go over how to install Refind. I'll leave the link to the official site if you want to see all the details, but installing it is really simple on most distros. While it is possible to install on Windows or Mac, the process for those is a lot more involved, so I'll just be showing how to install it on a few different Linux distros today. Also, my system does not have secure boot enabled, so keep in mind that you may run into a few complications if you do have secure boot enabled. If so, you should read this section on the official site for tips on how to deal with potential complications when using secure boot. And one last thing before I begin, while it's true that Grub allows you to boot other operating systems, Grub is really basic and has a simple layout, and I think you'll find that Refind is a lot nicer to use in general. Alright, so let's go over how to install it on a few different Linux distros. I recommend just using your distro's package manager since this is the easiest method. If you're using an Arch-based distro, then simply install the Refine package using Pacman. Just make sure the extra repository is enabled on your system. If you're running Fedora, then you can simply install the Refine package using DNF. Now if you're using an Ubuntu-based system like I am today, then all you need to do is enter these three commands. First add the repository to the system by entering the first command here. Then push enter to confirm. I'll leave this in the video description as well. Next do sudo apt update and then afterwards we can install the software by entering sudo apt install refind. When it's done installing you should see this screen pop up. Simply select yes to install the software. If you didn't see the screen automatically pop up, then you can install it by entering refind install. Now reboot the computer and enter the BIOS. Go into the boot options priorities and make sure Refind is selected as the first boot option. In my case it was already selected as the first option. Now save and reboot, and each time you turn on your computer you'll be greeted with this screen. Now this PC only has one operating system installed, but as you can see there's three different entries here for that one OS. For example, this middle entry is the fallback bootloader for this distro, which isn't necessary to keep. All we need is the main boot entry, which will typically have a name similar to this one. Notice how it has VM Linux in its name. This is the one I'll be keeping. To get rid of the other ones, simply press delete and confirm. Now you could also use this entry with grubx64 in its name but that will boot into grub, which would be a bit redundant, so in general, I recommend using the other entry instead. Don't worry if you accidentally delete the wrong one, since this isn't permanent and you can always bring it back if you want. And now I'll push enter on the remaining one. And as you can see, Kubuntu is now booting up normally. But now let's take a look at my main system where I have more than one OS installed. On this PC I have Windows 10, Endeavor OS, and Kubuntu installed. Now let's test an external USB drive loaded with Ventoy. If you're not familiar with Ventoy, it's another handy piece of software that I've previously made a video on. Ventoy allows you to store multiple bootable ISOs on a single thumb drive, so you can easily select which one you want to boot. If this sounds useful then you should definitely check out that video too. But let's get back to Refind. So first I'll plug in the external USB drive and use the arrow keys to select the reboot option. And now we're back and as we can see we have a few more entries listed. These new ones all belong to the Ventoy drive. So as we did before, I'll press delete on the extra entries that aren't necessary and just leave the main one which has grubx64 in its name. 
But now let's say you accidentally deleted the main entry. Well, bringing it back is simple enough. All you need to do is navigate to the Manage Hidden Tags menu. And here you can see a list of all the entries that have been removed. Simply select the one you want to restore and push enter. But I actually don't need this entry I just restored, so I'm gonna remove it again. And now I'll boot the main entry for Ventoy. And there it is. It booted up normally just as we'd expect it to. Now before we wrap it up for today, I have one last tip. I noticed one or two times before while upgrading the system's packages that occasionally, when Grub gets updated, it will overwrite the refind installation. So the computer will end up reverting back to Grub when you turn it on instead of booting into refind. It's interesting though how this issue has only happened on one of my systems, while all my other systems have never encountered this. But luckily, if this does happen to you, then fixing it is extremely simple. All you need to do is open the terminal and enter refine-install and confirm the installation. Then double check that refine is the first boot option in your BIOS and you should be good to go again. Well I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If so then give it a thumbs up and also check out some of my other content as well. Not only do I do guides on open source software, but I also do educational tech videos on things such as circuits, programming, and other engineering related concepts. So if these sound interesting to you, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.